full feed is level. It's just the top. I gotta give it a little tweak. I'll use the loader to pull it over with the winch. It's gotta go inward uh, about half inch. pretty close I pulled the building at the peak to where it's right on level and kept some tension on it as I was tightening it up it's possible that uh, as you're tightening it up the building is gonna want to shift and move a little bit away from level or it's windy it may just help to keep that tension on it as you're tightening it up because it's cold and the rubber on the bolt is a lot harder to compress and then you combine that with the uh it snowed last night so the snow gets on there and the hard rubber to compress and the bolt wants to spin in a couple areas when tightening it from the inside so all the areas where i gotta come back and tighten them up when it warms up a bit i marked with a pen let's see this one tightens up spins you can always rub the marker off with some gas on a rag or some alcohol uh, if you don't get the if you don't get the bolt uh, right down tight like those ones are there they're loose and you see the rubber uh, washer showing uh, when the Sun hits that it'll degrade and then uh, that's a spot where you may have a leak so got to make sure to uh, suck those bolts down tight to where the rubber washer is right right underneath the bolt head where it's uh, not exposed and it can't be uh, degraded. So once I get this section all tightened up then I can continue putting the arches in and uh, I can tighten the arches up as I go. Also I decided to, uh, I don't know what these are called, uh, the bottom arch connection pieces are these uh, arch connectors here on the bottom I decided to put them in uh, in the manual I was reading it says to uh, as you're going throw the section in and bolt it in uh, so you so see, see how this one's bolted in with that arch section so so when the next panel comes in the next panel comes in it gets all bolted together and then you put another arch section in and half of that arch section gets bolted in and then you just go so on uh, I put them all in place and I just uh, put it with one bolt on the on the leading edge there so as you're going uh, that bolts not gonna get in the way so I put all those in both sides got ready I figured that was the the quickest way of doing it what I really need is a 10 foot ladder to get the inside there well, actually what I really need is a scissor lift, but uh, that's expensive, especially to get it out here. It'd be cheaper just to buy one. I got my first uh, six sections set up there and I leveled it and uh, tightened them all up except for the ones that were spinning. I marked all the ones that were spinning. And then uh, after that I tightened up each, uh, each arch uh, fully. So uh, when I was working off of the platform there, I made sure to tighten each bolt, look at each bolt, make sure it's sucked down, make sure it's tightened up all the way. Uh, if I have a problem like the nut stripping out or, or anything like that, I can cut the bolt off and uh, put a new bolt in. Uh, it's just a, a lot easier to do it now than it is to come back after the whole building is assembled and uh, try to locate the bolt that was spinning on the outside and then uh, try to locate it on the inside and then tighten it up or you know have someone on the outside or have someone on the inside and tap on the roof to try to locate the same uh, bolt that the, that we're supposed to be working on so it might go a little bit slower installing it this way but at least i know every bolt is going to be sunk properly uh, there's not going to be any leaks right away there's not or there's not going to be any leaks later on due to uh, a bolt that's not tightened completely uh, and it is a lot of bolts to look at. I already used one bucket. One, in, I'm on my second bucket, so I probably put in about 2,000 bolts already. So it is a fair, fair amount of bolts to put in and tighten up. 
And that's the most lab labor intensive part of this is installing all the bolts and uh, getting the holes to line up and getting the bolts in and going on un underneath and tightening it up and it works best when you uh, start in an area where you got the bolt in and then work your way out and then just uh, snug them until you get the whole all the bolts in the arch and then come back and just torque them all down but uh, yeah so it's best to uh, once you get your first section set to just tighten each arch as you go especially if you're working in the winter time if all the bolts are going in nice and easy and you're not having any issue then uh, yeah then no worries just uh, snug them all in and then come back and do the whole thing uh, tighten them all down in one shot but uh, if you're having trouble it's probably easier to uh, tighten them all uh, per arch section <laughs> Give it a try, huh? Trying to find the solution to a problem I'm having here. You see the different heights in the arches, there are different heights in the panels. You got the one from the other, there's a height difference there. It's because they're leaning here, it's a little bit less, there it's a little bit less, and there it's about level. So this side is leaning, but the other side is good. When we go back to the start here, if you can see the laser line there, we're pretty level. Let's get you protected. So the I'm running into an issue on this same area again, on the same wall. So I ha there's a couple sections here where it was uh, uh, maybe three, four sections back where it wasn't lining up. It was a little bit wonky. And then from there on, uh, I made sure to bolt the bottom all the way up, bottom all the way up. And uh, it was working out good. All the holes are lining up, no worries. And I got to this one section here where uh, I bolted up the bottom uh, to about the, to the connection there. And then uh, I said, oh, it's all lining up good right on. And then I went up to the top, uh, connected the two halves of the arch together, and then bolted it back. And then when I got to here, when I came back uh, the at the connection, uh, the bolts weren't lining up. So about one, two, three bolts up to the connection, I couldn't get the bolts in. So I pulled out my uh, punch and uh, put it in the hole and tried to wiggle it over and uh, tightened up the bolts and uh, that's the result there it's not quite lining up and it doesn't look very uh, doesn't look very good so i'm gonna unbolt it uh, probably gonna take that curved section put it on the other side or or just the uh, two sections down i'll put a nice fresh one in there 
because I tightened it down and it uh, made a little bit of an impact on it. So a little, little bit dented out of shape there. And I'm going to make sure and bolt it all the way from the bottom up on this side till I get to the connection and make sure I got all the bolts are in the holes and I snug tight before I go tighten anything down. Uh, and then we'll see what it looks like. I'm hoping to get rid of that kink in there. So here's the joint here. So pretty much the joint that was down there, I transferred the, the shortness up to here. So here's where I had to struggle to get it back together. I put my punch in the hole, you know, put it whichever way to get the other bolts in. Uh, this punch is uh, roughly the same size as the as the holes for the for the bolts for the arches so I just drove the punch into the hole and that kind of aligned all the sections uh, there's one two three four layers here there's uh, the one underneath this one and then the two over top so there's there's four there's four uh, panels that get bolted together here. So I put my punch in there, aligned, used it to align all the holes, uh, wiggled it around. Uh, it is tight. Uh, had to thread in all the bolts. So it's a tight area. Like here, just use the, use the punch to align it, that's not bad. I bolted it in already on the panel. All good to go. Just gotta throw some the last few bolts in. If you're wondering what that black is on the on the panel, yeah, that's uh, corrosion. That's from uh, sitting uh, uh, strapped together on a pallet for about four or five years. Before I was able to uh, put the building together, I bought the building and then I ran out of money for concrete and then. Uh, uh, economy was down in Alberta so you know all the money went to you know just the bare necessities for a while till I managed to save up enough to get the building together. Here's the arch section I was having trouble with. Looks a lot better now. I snugged the panels together before I started putting the bolts in the arch section. So I started from the bottom and worked away up around the corner up to the top and uh, made sure it was all uh, snug together, not torqued down, but uh, snug together before I started putting the bolts in. And it uh, looks a lot better than when it's all loose. So I'm going to make sure and do it like that from now on. Always starting from the bottom and working my way up to the top because that was a fair bit of work to get like that. It took me about three hours to get it fixed up. So in that same time I could have stood another uh, arch section and bolted it off. So from here on I'm going to start at the bottom and uh, tighten it up around the corner and then leave the top for last. So I don't run into that issue again. And hopefully my little jog that's on the side there that I've been, I've been struggling with. For this last little bit here, we'll straighten out as I'm going. 